Are they all right? But I've got Audio Technica. Do you get audio chat? Did you get um, the little podcasting kit where it comes with like all the bits? No, nah, do you know what? I've got one that looks like it comes from 1970. But this is the first one I ever bought. I've bought one since and none are as good as this. Not even close. The road stuff, mint. If you want to do photography, videography as well, if you get the road stuff, it's just a good all rounder. No one wants the shit road stuff. Roads are fucking best, you asshole. <laughs> look at look at miserable Mike. That's like Mike's so, got the most I've... miserable looking face of all time. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> I've got to have the lights off because I've wired my D Shack fan into the lighting and it's loud as fuck. So <laughs> <laughs> basically, right, stop it. Get recording because we're missing this Gucci knowledge. This is stuff we could just tell people. It's on already recording, idiot. Oh, what? <laughs> right. Joe's what Are you sure? We stopped mate, recording, it's recording in the corner, you idiot. Just checking. Oh, yeah. Just checking. So, shall I do the intro because you're incapable? I'm not ready for that shit. I told you. Little steps. <clears throat> um, are we plugging uh, loadout today, Mike? If you want, mate. No, uh, no. If you want, bruv. <laughs> I said to you ages ago. Whatever you need from us to like, if we can help in, in a tiny way, we're here. Yeah, mate. Yeah, we can talk about what. Uh, what is it about rates? Sparky rates. We're talking about all kinds of shit to do with are electricians actually worth it? All that Don't worry shit. about the subject. It fucking it's, really yeah. goes off to anyway. <laughs> right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. You drive. Hello and welcome. We're back. It is Monday Club. Now, today we've got a very special guest, Mikey from loadout.com and or residual current, whatever one you want to call him. <laughs> but Cheers, before we get into that, Today's episode is brought to you by Loadout.com. Head over to Loadout.com right now Sam. and check out Sam. Lo- Loadout.shop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you plug in someone who sells shotgun cartridges. Is it Loadout.shop? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We couldn't afford. We couldn't afford .com. It's owned by a Game or something. They wanted about ten grand for the domain, so that's well, why. We... I can't right, swear the first time. Let me go again. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to let it slide the first time. But oh, leave, it leave this in. Six leave, times. This in. <laughs> leave it in. This is pure quality radio. Podcast, whatever, wireless. All right. Well, People remember this. It's now. Loadout. Dot shop. It's dot shop. You'll never <laughs> forget shop. it now after this call. You're definitely going to remember it now. That's for damn sure. Listen, uh, go over there for all of your um, electrical needs, um, tools, and all that good stuff is over at loadout.shop. Um, and support another Sparky uh, helping out the trade. Or we'll... Oh, no, we won't do that because I can't swear <laughs> the first 10 minutes. We'll come round your ass and give you some stern words. Well, we won't. We won't because none I, of I us might. are that bothered. I might. Mike, Mike, it's his business. <laughs> he, listen, Mike's got the most miserable face in all of uh, social media influencing. <laughs> Is he miserable or is he just not shifted enough tape measures this week? No, he's always got like, a bitch face. How is the tall business? Have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going good. It's going good. Uh, especially in, you know, the times that we're in. It's going really good, actually. So, um, yeah. Because it's been like a bit of a... Um, you went from like sort of it being a side hustle and now it's become your main hustle almost. Yeah, it's weird. Um, I went full time with it uh, last October, spent three months, or two months fitting out the unit for it. And then we went live with the distribution warehouse in January. And then I naively thought I'd still be on the tools like after a week or something. <laughs> and then like, yeah, it just was never going to be that way. I still have, you know, put my hands on tools a few times this year. Uh, and that's my passion. I actually prefer it far more than selling tools. But this is the bread and butter at the minute. This is the dream. I'm actually back on the tools from next month, though, from September. I can't wait. What, full so. time or, or? Nah, but um, like properly part time, though. So, like one to two days a week, like booked in uh, with my old firm as before. I was just working with randoms. I've done stuff yeah. for like joint tech and like other people, but. It was that more content then? Was that more for content? It was for work, work and for content, to be fair. Um, but. It just like I can't work with Tony every week. I can't work with these people every week just because it don't work. And do you know what I mean? As with the old firm, they're used to me filming. And even if I can't, they just do cool work. And that built the channel in the first place. It built Loadout. It did all of that. So, 
yeah, I'll be back there uh, with all the lads that I know and everything like that, at least one day a week, maybe two days, getting content. And I actually sell more tools when I put up an electrical video, funny enough. Wow. Um, just by having the links in the description and me just using a tool and I'm like, this is decent. Do you know what I mean? People, I think, relate to that more. Um, so you're basically your own influencer selling... <laughs> You're, I hate like, that word, like mate. Perfect uh, storm, content isn't it? creator. Listen, content it's a perfect creator. storm. It's like you're you've got a shop and you're selling your own stuff through your channel. It's a perfect storm. It's mm. it's probably the smartest way to do it. I think. Like straight straight question: Do you sell anything that's shit? Yeah, it's subjective. Oh, I, thought was, I thought I was going to say no. I thought I was going to say uh, no. It's good. It's In what subjective. way then? In what way? Like. Uh, Personal Nipex, preference, yeah. Like Nipex insulation pliers, I think they're crap. Like, I think that you know, the 79 in one, they'll rewire your house pliers. Oh, the long all. ones, the yeah. ones that, ja- yeah, you know what? I've got a pair of them, it lives in my van with some with the you other know, screwdrivers with a yeah. change blade. I hate both of them. Yeah, but to I get, hate uh, screwdrivers with changeable blades, it's the but, dumbest invention. But, but put to that ever- on Instagram, everyone loves that tool, yeah. Do they're you know crap, I mean? but in the van, I can have them five five doodah pliers and a load of screwdrivers in a package this big and I also use it for go abroad there you go. Yeah, but that's, yeah. its, that's its strength they, but yeah they... to use that every day it's fucking expensive way to buy screwdrivers to be honest <laughs> yeah I don't like them screwdrivers and I don't I do love those Nipex 5-in-1s I do that's love what I mean them. but I think that so it's quite subjective but as overall in quality we don't sell any crap really but they but here's oh, the yeah, yeah. fair here's play the to though, though for giving it a good answer they're shit <laughs> the, the nice. quality of those things are shit like they're the best ply, they're the best long nose pliers you can get, right? Are the one the, are those five and ones? I think the the long nose feature on them are the best, but the the little holes where you can strip the one five and two five, the nib the snap. in there breaks off. I've had three pairs, two of which have ha- had that happen. What to like me. the 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 blade, like the the no, you know the like the little nib that like between the one point oh, five and the two point five. Oh, that separates them. Yeah, that that snaps off. Well, and it's part of the metal. It's part of the yeah, chrome. yeah. Mm. And that's feed it like, back. Tell Nick know, to sort it out. They're pretty I good. I know actually. more than one person who's moaned about that. But other than that, I used to be quite unfair on Nipex. I did used to be quite. unfair. I remember that you used to always say these to tarnish, didn't you? Well, they do. But they do. But all tools do, they man. The problem with those five in ones is, is the when you need something tarnish. small and compact, they're great, but. It's a it's an expensive way to have five pairs of pliers in your pocket on a daily basis. Yeah. No, they're, not, see, they're, they're not daily drivers, are they? Same as the screwdrivers with the removed handles. If you use them all day every day, you spend more time changing the heads than you do working. I mm. hate them. I hate them things. But like you say, they're great to have. You know, like Nick's new bag. Right? Yeah. If you have them in Nick's new bag, that five in one, that's like a quoting bag almost. You know, like when you go around to your initial investigation and you've got you can put all your tools in one little bag. They uh, those bladed but, screwdrivers fit in there perfectly, and to have them five in ones in there would be a would be a dream. But that's the problem. It depends on what you do, what you wear. I was chatting to JB Electrical about um, crap tools, and I'm say, just about um, to say, can we talk about crap tools? You, bet you get asked <laughs> about good tools all the time, and I want to talk about shit tools. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and we were talking about you know the automatic wire strippers, Nipex do them, Klein do them. Yeah, the, them forms. ones that the like the the. the the ones they, that they, they grab split and the T and E, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And he reckons they're rubbish. And to be fair, I've got a set and I love them, but they sit in the van. But if I'm second fixing the kitchen, I'll give them to the lad probably or myself. I'll run around, I'll strip everything. But if I'm just making something off or running about a site, they're in the van. You don't you don't Both. need all of these tools in your bag all the time. No. But if you've got mm. 50 T and E's to strip or a load of downlighters, that will save you so much time just going bang, bang, bang. Those T and E strippers, those T and E strippers are brilliant. Problem with them is the blades go blunt quick and mm. then it's either i think it's something like 30 quid for the blades or or 30 quid for a new set so what's the nipex stripper that everyone bums because it is brilliant the the, the funny looking thing that does flex on that oh the oh, ergo what, strip. the ergos yeah best, so that... best stripper i've ever had but the blades aren't replaceable and, and i don't use it regular so i don't have to buy more time if, if you was doing fp 200 all day long you'd be getting yeah. through one of them a month yeah so i just see a lot of waste but I just that's another thing like it just needs to or is it designed like a razor blade? 
Is that the crack? It is like a razor blade, but it is a dedicated blade flat tool, to be fair. Yeah, um, but you wouldn't be able to replace it, would you? If they nah. that replaceable, they're, they're, they're pretty good with a lot of things, them. but you can't do the ergo strip. You're right. But like the T&E strippers, all their pipe cutters and all that, they do do blades for, and they're quite they reasonable, do. but um, well, no one stocks them. That's the problem. You know, did you know that all, load these, dot shop. all these <laughs> automatic strippers that, that, that you see, they're all licensed from another company that's not Nipex. It's not Nipex. That li- it's, oh, it's a funny... No, I know what you're on about. You're on about the pliers ones, right? And they're also cut in the middle of the handle, weren't they? And crimp no, and they're the stop the, the whole range of those, those automatic strippers, from the ones that I... Di- Do you remember like Ideal bought out a set? Yeah, so, and Quickwire use them as well, didn't yeah, they? Quick yeah, Quickwire. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's Jakari. I think it's Jakari who, who made that one. Because CK's there, there's, got there's um, another and Nipex firm. and... I can't remember what it's called. There's another firm. It's a little German firm, and they do all of that clever stuff. And then the other firms, they all license it off them. And you just pay for that little bit of plastic with the logo on, don't you? Yeah, that says and that you change the colour of it and all that. Yeah, like those those um no doubt like ones ergos, coming soon. <laughs> like those ergos, they've been around for years, but under Jakari. But no one knew there was there, so a waste of fucking time in it. No, I, I had but... a Jakari stripper years ago when I was doing BMS for all the brown cable. You have a little Jakari stripper. But I know what you're saying, was... though, Jamie. They're, they're not good at their marketing, are they? Like... Yeah, that's where Nipex went to it. Because, like, Nipex, I mean, the first time I knew Nipex was Cobras, and I wouldn't use any other grips. End of story. Because every other grip pierces your finger together in the bottom, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas Cobras don't do that. And I was They've like, they got that oh, anti-pinch good. bit of metal that stops the handles. Yeah, you know? and I was, once I got them, I was like, once my first boss showed me them, I was like, oh, what else these do? What, who are they? And I, I dig a bit deeper. And I, you obviously know, don't you, from what you do. If you need a tool, sometimes you buy a cheap one, but we all know in this game, if you buy cheap, you do buy twice. Yeah. And it you know gets what? expensive. Have you seen them grips? They're um, automatic adjusting grips. Shite. They're not. Don't care They're really them. good. Did you hear what there's said? two it types though, isn't there? So there's the one with the bar between, and then you, you lock them on, don't they? And they'll rise up and, and clamp to whatever you're you're yeah, doing. Yeah. And then there's um a lot of cobras do it. If you know, like the old school ones where you oh the, um, the, the self, slot goes through yeah, the hole. And you'd have to open them up and then move the slot along. If you do that with the push button cobras, it will snap to the right size they're good but they also do a set of automatic adjusting ones with this weird it's basically like a little not it's not hydraulics but a little thing that expands for you and i can't get on with them because it's, i loved them it goes I'm against the way you use grip so you've got to like use them the wrong way around because then yeah i know what you mean you fully open them and then they snap down as i'm used to sizing up and then you know come I mean? on then what's the worst tools you've bought that's what i want to know what were you bought and you're like oh, i've got to get it and you've got it it's absolute crap something uh... will stand out for everyone um, oh, put on a, so you should put people on a spot the podcast, do you? Because you now we're, I've got a feel it's dead air time. Yeah, no. no I'll tell, tell you what I think. Forget that for a sec. Did you see Efix done a video this week? And I'm not knocking Efix. I love the team at Efix. I love Gary, uh, Joe and Gordon. You all, they're all at pals of the show. But did you see him with the lockout kit for a plug? No. <laughs> it's, it's like if you're working on an appliance... And then you put on a lockout kit on the plug. <laughs> I've seen bags. I've seen like, you know, school bags with a drawstring top. Yeah. So it's a bag with a chain in the top and you pull the chain tight over something like, I, I think the whole idea with that is though, is that you've got to be malicious in the cutting of it, haven't you? But yeah, just put, just put the plug in your pocket. I say that to people on like 2391. If you're doing the disconnection, it doesn't say it's got to be locked off. It says you've got to be in control of it. So if you just quickly on, off, on, off, put the plug in your pocket no one's going to take just, it off you, are there? Yeah, but yeah. Who, like, how long to how long to the plug the, the plug lead going to be? Like, at most two <laughs> meters, really, isn't it? Like, maybe yeah. three. Just have it like you just unplug it and put it near you. Yeah. Plus, Someone... if someone wants to like plug it in, and then you're going to say what you're doing, mate, and then they want to fight you for it. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just crack on, mate. I like, don't think it's it a thing. Like... The, like... Problem with, the problem with safe isolation is, as we know, yeah, it is very, very important. But sometimes companies will go, oh, we could sell this to some d- idiot. They'll buy a, mm. they'll buy a lock-off kit for a toaster. <laughs> it's actually a slice of bread because the toaster expands <laughs> and I'll put my own bread in. Heat-proof like... insulated plastic. <laughs> yeah. like... But someone would buy it. Oh, yeah, I service loads of toasters, so I bought one of my own. But that's the problem. People Once people see buying something because it's good safety, they'll go, oh, 
Let's make something that does yeah, that. Yeah, but that... only a div would see the value in that. It's like oh yeah, but a plug it's like How like, how much of a virtue signaling spark do you have to be to turn up and go? Just going to work on your kettle. We all know a kettle's got like half a meter lead and go, <laughs> just going to lock it off just in case you plug it in while someone... What? Or, or what you get is someone locking up an IEC lead so you could just unplug the like, lead and put your own in anyway. Yeah, yeah so like it's that. nuts. But yeah. let's get to the topic. Oh, are we, how long that took us? Jesus. I know, right? We've been we've been um, talking nonsense about tools. Well, we have got the tool king. Like, there is no one on <laughs> social media. Tool king. No, well, you are. You're the guy. Like, listen, you watch your channel. You're using all the latest, greatest kit. Like, you've got you've got that bandsaw that oh. you can't even get in this country. What? You can now. You can oh, you now. Can. Yeah. So, his bandsaw is also... So, when you cut through a bit of stud... Not stud, um, tube. Tube, you can um, file off the end. It's got like who's is that? Who's band saws that? Milwaukee. Oh, I won't bother that shit because I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you know what? Walt do a little 12 volt on now as well. And it's right, I did a race uh, about a year ago on my page. It, yeah, don't get back and look at it, but um, it was decent, it held its own. The Milwaukee still won, but <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'm two years out of the game with power tools because I haven't bought any since I packed up my, my limited company. So uh, all my power tools at the downstairs now. You know when you was younger, like the old man had come to start, he had his old man tools. Yeah, well, that's me now. All my batteries are fucking off. Awesome. <laughs> they're not Nikad, are they? You know, I'm not. The I'm not the old man tools. So, yeah, no, they're not. They're not that bad. But I did. I, I'm, I'm the, the same. Lithiums, but I'm the same. I've stuff. got most of my tools are the same tools I bought. Jesus, it must be nearly seven years ago now. All my power tools are like seven years old. Like I'm having to start buying new batteries now. I'm like. When one battery stops charging, I'm like, fuck. That's it's a credit, to, my, it's a credit to the gear I bought, though, that I need that's some new batteries, but the tools are all right. And they do yeah. the job. Everything's battered and bruised, but they've earned the money. So they but hands down, much. if you had to buy a new kit right now, you're not buying DeWalt. I am. Yet. I am, because I'm, I'm investing the battery, and I'm sure everyone no, knows no, that. No, no, but say, say all your stuff goes missing tomorrow, right? It's gone. I'd, I'd do and some investing. No, 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 no. That makes it too hard. What if you could just swap to anything and have whatever you want? If, in the, in a in a start getting situation, I would look around. But I've, yeah. I've do all. It's like it's done me well. You know what I mean? I've earned my money out of all. Oh, honest, I'm I'm they're all the same anyway. They are. Well, I was just going to say earlier, they're all come out of the same factory. But yeah. you, it's, but that's I like saying all football are doing anyway. that no other tool brands doing. They're doing trade specific tools. Yeah, they've got they a good are. range. They are. They they've even got a powered um, cable puller. You yeah. know what? Um, you know what Makita are doing that no other brand's doing. Being shit. Yeah, being absolutely wank. <laughs> 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 making tools. You can, they can knock you up a cup of coffee, though. Yeah, yes, yeah, they can. Like, invest all your R and D to a coffee machine while you I drink. I think they've got a microwave now, haven't they, or something, or a hot <laughs> plate, or something. They have they got some in. <laughs> they've got Excellent. a bike, and they've got a bike. <laughs> the fucking what are they on? Oh, is it yeah. so chippies who are wank and cyclone when they get sacked? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They are a chippy tool. My brother loves Makita. He just he just invested in a Makita. I used to store. say back in the day, right? And, and this is when Makita won't wank. If you want fine tools for finesse, a Makita is better, but you'll break it if you drop it. Whereas if you want a tool for plying through forms like a spark tool, a, a, a DeWalt's not as fine, but it'll drop well. Yeah. Be, that's what you say, but I think they're just totally shit now. Do you know what? Ten years before. ago, though, Makita was the one. When I first started, I had a Makita yeah. Twin Pack, and everyone had them, man. And yeah, you know they where's... were good because of chip, all the chippies and uh, plasterboard. Where's Milwaukee come from? That. What the fuck happened there? They just came in like I remember the party. when it came out. I They've re- always been big, though, but it took them a while to get into Europe. Or is that a load of other tools that have been branded? Like, is what? that some... It's obviously made by someone else, and they've just gone, oh, we'll buy that entire range and brand it and... Now, no, Milwaukee have been so. going um, for, they come out of Milwaukee in America and they've been going for ages. They just were slow to like the European market, I think. Pack out though, I do all tool system I've got, the big, it's good, it is good, but they sort of stopped developing it. And then that pack out came along and that stuff is awesome. Mm. awesome. But I'm too invested to move on now. Pack out's I'm... dear as well though. Like you can yes, get into it quite expensive. easy. So like you get the free piece set from screen ah. so have it on offer or whatever. But then you'll be like, oh, do I need that ammo crate? Do I need that lunchbox? Oh, Maybe and then that's where you get shafted. And some of the stuff, mate, it's like 70 quid for a first aid kit. 70 the... quid for a what? cooler that clips in. The ammo crate, which is only good for storing batteries, that was like 80 quid. But I have the DeWalt also have the thin boxes, the medium boxes, the thick boxes, the trolley. 
it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I just put effort in it because I'd, I'd keep my van empty now. But that pack out is musical, but I didn't know. That what about those people though? Crack. Who put, who buy the pack out system <laughs> and put it DeWalt and it. put DeWalt or Mikita in it? Like well, you I, can't know where fr- I can't be friends with them really. people. Like I have to have them as far away from me as possible. But you don't you're, can't he, mix and match. No, no, no. Do you know what that makes you? A a heresy. Busy water drinking. No, you know what I had to do. And I've, I had to do this myself, and I will explain why. So I see people on site. With different power tools by different manufacturers, so ranging from good to absolute like B and Q home brands. And then I saw this guy. Yeah, That's a proper goes, builder's flex, though, isn't it? Yeah, and he, he was a builder. Like... <laughs> he got this because I'll go and get my charger. You'll love it. And he got this charger out, and it was a piece of wood, like a two foot by three foot sheet, with all the chargers screwed <laughs> to it. And then when I transitioned from um, the old style do you know, like the magazine style one with a spigot on. To yeah. the new ones, I had to have the chargers, the old and the new on the bit of wood because you, you, you I was transitioning to the tools, but he got it out in like in a JCB <laughs> rebrand's rip saw, a chop saw, and he just had like these eight different battery chargers on. Imagine like trying me- to pat test the fucker. The Megatron of chargers. <laughs> it's like, that is a real fire start around some point. So should we there. actually talk about what we're meant to talk about tonight? Go on, man. <sighs> what is it worth or... Um, yeah, what is the worth of a Sparky? In what sense? Well, I have um, been through like the ups and downs of sparking and what an electrician is worth. And is it, put it this way, right? Would you advise a kid going in, coming out of school, going into college who wants to get a trade to become an electrician? Yeah. I would not. Well, what would you advise them to do then, I suppose, is the question. <laughs> what, you know what? To do? what about... Right, so I had a chat with uh, a Royal Marine this week, um, and he's learning to be a painter and decorator. Blech. And I was like, why? Why are you doing a four-year apprenticeship to be a painter and decorator? Something you can learn in six months. Like, stop that. No one's doing you a favour putting you through that. Now, on the other hand, it takes four years to learn how to be a spark properly. To learn your ones and twos as a spark takes four years minimum. Mm-hmm. But you get the same money as every other trade. What's the point? Because a decorator will always slap paint on walls, whereas sparkies go on to other associated trades. I've no, said this over no, and over again. Spark no. is a stepping stone. Let, let me tell you this, though. How many people on site who are site managers and foremen and site supervisors are sparkies. Not as many as are ex-labourers and ex-chippies or painters and decorators. It's like Yeah, but site foreman's not like, do you know what I mean? Every site foreman I know is miserable. They're working all over the country. They're getting good money, but it's not... I don't I aspire agree. to be a site foreman, do you I know agree. what I mean? Even for 250, not 300, a, Not a general trade, but electrical site foreman. I've done it and I enjoyed it. But I don't want to yeah. be, like, I've I done be it. managing some plaster because I don't want to clean up the poo. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've done the same. But it, it's tough, though, Sam. Cause, it's like, tough. We're, where are you, Jamie? Nottingham. Not, yeah, so we're all we're all south, aren't we, basically? Mm. Like, it's all right down here, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, you can get a good wage in London. You can, you, do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but it's but, capped. It's capped. Yeah, so it's capped. But then, oh, like, look at you, right? up north, it's a completely different answer, isn't it? Because what's the rates? What's the cost of living? Do you know what I mean? So it's tough sp- to, like, just stick a label on it. Do you know what I mean? What right. is a sparker? So for- That's the question, isn't it? What is a sparker? What was what sport we're mm. on about? We're on about a GIB gold card spark who's, between two and four years out of time. Right. So here's another thing. I've got a counter on that. If you are a a Sparky who's done an apprenticeship but hasn't got a gold card because you didn't do the JRB apprenticeship, you just done an apprenticeship where you worked with as a domestic installer, if you like. But mm-hmm. you've got your NIC. Are you the equivalent with NIC accreditation? Are you the equivalent of a JRB gold card? I think you are. I think every Sparky should have the gold card. Yeah. 
Because, I don't think you'll be equivalent because, like, you ain't got one. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, I'll rephrase that. I don't want to upset those watch yet. Every sparker should have a gold card or a card that states on it what kind of spark they are and what they're capable of. Because if you people go, oh, you have something like Korg, yeah? you got a gold card. No, I can't be fucked. Well, you're an asshole. You're a fucking no, asshole. No, I don't agree with that. Because I know sparkies who are way better than a lot of um, electricians. I'm not doubting the skill so, yeah, level. So get, so get the card then. It's get easy, isn't card. it? No, it's not easy. It's expensive. Oh, if you go, I want a shotgun license. I want a shotgun. Get a shotgun license now. Fuck that. You know what I mean? No, nah, see, I, I don't drive. agree. I want to drive. Agree. Do a driving license. It no. is pointless. I do agree it's pointless. it's pointless. But that's like saying the NIC is pointless because you can just, no, but as it's long not. as you provide your results, that's all you've got to do. do you know but do I mean? you not think, do you not think that a electrician... You still pay for NIC and sign up because you won't get any decent work without it. But you don't need to be NIC. Do you know what I mean? You could be nap it or you could be no one as long as you I've provide got... your results. So See, I, I think that if you've got NAPIT or NIC and you're an approved contractor, you are you are the equivalent of a JRB gold card. I put some Twitter the other day, yeah, there's my cards. Don't zoom in on them, nick them yet. I have not needed these for 15 years, but I still pay them when they get them. These are £42 each. That is a fair fee for them to check my results after I've dragged my earphone out and put it on this card so I can easily give someone that. I think that's a fair amount of money. And anyone that, yeah, but that only with... means something to, to, to commercial and industrial employers. Yeah, that but let's make nothing. it mean something to everyone. Let's make it mean something to everyone. This is the, this is the best the thing problem. we've got. Never going to happen. Because here's the thing. Here's a fundamental misunderstanding that, that people have about the gold card. It doesn't mean anything to anyone outside of the JIB circle. So if you're not part of the JIB circle, it is pointless. You're overqualified. I just well, but what else? Yeah, not not JRB circle like the commercial world. Like you can't get on any site without an ECS card, and if you're a Spark, you may as well get a uh, sorry a CSCS card. If you're Spark, you may as well get an ECS card, and then that's going to be working towards a gold one, isn't it? For sure, only in commercial world. Yeah, but that's a lot of the work, bro. You forget like the commercial world, the commercial industry is a lot of. Oh, 100%. You're not I still, I still call Corgi Corgi now because it was drilled into by the organisation. If the JIB, I'm not I'm not slagging the JIB because I think they're all right what they do, but if they did a little bit of advertising says, you should make sure your electrician's carrying his card with his qualification on the back. Check it when he comes round. Bosh, there you go. Omos can feel God. Then go online and check it. If we don't all in but in but if we don't all get into it, we're just shitting on ourselves as an organ- yeah. As a group. Yeah, but, but Until the, the thing- gas safe model is in for electri- electricians. Exactly. So gas safe now. Fucked. The gas safe model is the same as the Korg model. People sometimes say Korg, people sometimes say gas safe, but they know exactly yeah. what they're asking for. But you're talking about a, per- a, a, a perfect scenario. We're not living in that scenario. We do it in for gas safe, though. We're living in the scenario where there's JIB gold cards. Yep. And then there's, you know, People who have been working in the industry for a long time without a JRB gold card who can do exactly what a JRB gold card can do. Get a card then. <laughs> yeah, but you can't. But that's such a dumb thing to say. And, and and this is why. Because it's two grand minimum to get your card. Ah, uh, no, no. I'm not on about that. I'm on about if they are sufficiently qualified, they will either get a card by some yeah, qualifications what does or the something. MVQ prove? Oh, Nothing. Yeah, but yeah. what does having a doctor prove? My doctor, you don't want to. No, but yeah, about how you, so how can you be an electrician without having a formal, ele- whatever it is, a formal electrical qualification? That that so. And I'm not saying you can't miss... go do anything than me better. I'm not saying that I can no, learn how to is... plumb and be the best plumber in the world. But like, what I'm saying is, like, right. if you want to be an electrician, why are you not going like about it the right way? And you know you're not mean? wrong. But here's the thing, and, and you're absolutely right what you're saying. If you're going to do it, do it properly. And you're the embodiment of that with your work, with your with everything you do, even your um, like your the videos you do on YouTube are of the highest standard. You embody that. But which one of us talking about? That? <laughs> yeah, you talk about Mike or me? Sorry, <laughs> not you. Definitely not you. Your <laughs> videos are the worst. Um, but I'm talking about with people like with the industry is so fragmented in the way in which people come to get their qualifications, the two, three, three, Oh, or the basic CE and guilds qualification that people do. The level, level two and three, level two and level three. Yeah. That to it. Is the primary 
way of of being taught to be an electrician. The MVQ and the AM2 are an add-on to that. So without doing the 2330, you don't just do your MVQ level 3 or your AM2. You can't just go and do them without having yeah, the no, it's a package. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of a lot of the people and a lot of the um industry bodies will hold the MVQ level 3 as the standard for an electrician. Which is dumb. I'll put the yeah, the, yeah, but yeah. the MVQ level three is the on-site <laughs> element Assessment, as well, yeah. isn't it? Okay. So, like, that's so like me, me saying I've studied in, I've studied to be a doctor, and like I've done it all from a classroom. Can I, can I operate on you, Sam? Like, I've Here, got my qualifications. So I haven't got the, the thing, card, though. but like, do you know what I mean? Here's the thing, though: the level three MVQ one can be bought, yeah, can be bought outright, can buy, yeah, completed. Yeah. And completed pictures and all. I know done firms will say that. I know scumbag firms will say that. I won't name them. Yeah, they're me. called what are they called? Uh, quick, quick something. I can't remember. I know. I, yeah, there's a place around here that does it. Um, yeah, so that yeah. it can be bought. Two. Mm-hmm. I know someone, and I know this for a hundred percent fact, who got the year before's copy of the MVQ that was done, nicked it out of the college copied it word for word you can't do that anymore, it. But, just to add but there's always going to be loopholes and there's always going to be people looking no, but to take advantage here's the thing. but you're then speaking it shouldn't be about the standard. 10, 10 to 20 percent which you're always going to get yeah but it shouldn't be the standard then cards the standard should me. be like the two three three oh probably 90 percent of the cards that are out there are in date and probably 10 percent on and people are still getting on sites without a date cards do you know what i mean that again mm. is completely against the rules but like you're not gonna it's a good listen. Do you know what I mean? What you're saying is a good, is a good argument. But what I'm saying is, if the industry standard is the MVQ level three, that can be copied, that can be bought, but the two three three zero has to be done, tested in tested environments, and done, and you have to do practical to pass your two three three zero. But you need both of them. And you? Yeah, no, but to get any of the, like, for example, do you remember Spark Safe when that came out? Yeah. yeah. The guiding principle was the MVQ level three. All of these, all of these additional things require MVQ level three, but the real core fundamentals are delivered in the 2330. In a classroom. In a classroom. But you still have to do practical for the two three three zero. In a classroom. You, yeah. <laughs> uh, again, <laughs> you're not wrong. But if you're going to hold a standard, the my two three three zero, mate. Standard. Like I was picking out bits of tube out of the bin in college, and then screwing it to the wall. And everyone's going, yeah, it. That's your bubble set done. Cards on the table for me. Yeah, I want everyone to do whatever they need to do. I want it finalised by an MVQ and an AM two, and I believe that is a proper apprenticeship that people should do. I know some people get there without it, but <laughs> and I see it, and I think that's that's because I care about the learner. And anyone trying to achieve that, I will assist them in any way I can. But I want to see people do four is... years, AM2, NVQ level three, and all the bits and bobs to it, because I want people to be But this is trained. what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. And like, it's set the bar high, man. This is a, like, it's an artisan trade. It's yeah. a special trade. And the reason Ta- why there's time, a race to the but bottom here we go. Here and there's we no go. value in anything is because it's not protected. But until here... there's a gas safe model, which won't happen until someone important gets hurt by an unapproved electrician. Like I, I got asked to go. My, um, my when I was younger, my mate just got qualified as gas. Didn't know because it was like his second week of after doing gas safe and, and getting qualified. S- said, "Oh, can you go grab me some fittings from the wholesaler as you're going out? Just elbows for a boiler or something. Not even anything to, like not a boiler." And I couldn't get it for him because I didn't have his card. Yeah, I can go get everything I need to rewire my house from B and Q. Do you know but what I mean? What so, like, I'm until saying. that's like, I get criticised for showing people how to do electrics online when you can go buy everything from B and Q. The start of that me, though, that, me the showing that, stuff is not the problem. The start you know of tightening the trade up is us all as a community getting our cards. If we don't agree, process, Agreed. we've got to. We've got to. Do you're talking thing. about perfect world scenarios, and what I'm talking about is what we have now. The think, value of an electrician and with what we have now was that the tangent. Jesus Christ! Right. So is it worth an electrician? How much of the work? No. But but let's, get, let's answer this question. With what we have now, <laughs> with what we have now, is it worth? 
become an electrician. If yeah. you want to put your heart and soul into it like you should a job, yeah, and do a good job, then I think it is. If you want to be a chancer and buy your qualifications, <laughs> then it never should be and isn't now and never was. But here's the thing. I can only really talk about commercial because domestic is is something I've recently got into. I do quite a lot of my own domestic stuff in the evenings and on the weekends, right, locally. And I have a fixed rate for that. It's £50 an hour, and that's it. And if they pay it, they pay it, and I'll do the very best job I can. If they don't want to pay it, I'm not interested. So that's a different thing. With the commercial stuff now, I've got no say. Depending on the company and depending on how I handle it, my approach to the company, I can have a say. There's some companies... In what, your rate? In the not just the rate, but the way I work as well. Like mm. I'm not like. Yeah, I mean, years there's got ago, to be concession, some concessions working for someone else, and the bigger the beast, the more the the more. Yes. Is, you know what I mean. But for instance, I took on a um, not with a company I'm with now. Before I took on an intake room, and it was completely on my like they was in a bit of a hole, so I did exploit that a bit, and it was completely on my terms. It was mm-hmm. this much a day. Because they and know got, you've got the skill, don't they? They knew yeah, you could do they it. They needed the skill set that I had, yeah. and it was this much a day, and it was I like I don't want to hear from your guy about oh you've gone five minutes early. I ain't interested in any of that shit. I will give you your job. What date does it need to be completed by? You will have your job completed by this date. I don't want to hear from you in in between, and that's how it was. And I delivered that job to a good standard and it was fine and, and everyone you know what you've, done there? you've done what i love about uh, what i want to see in the trade is you did a personal deal based on your skill set and a particular job not a blanket rate for everyone who just but is again, a, a sparky on 18 quid an hour but the job i'm on now is a blanket rate for everyone it depends on how you approach the company on this job <laughs> that i'm on now it was it just so happened that it was on a hospital 10 minutes from my house and I clicked the button and I got the job. It's that simple. So it's. Yeah. What I, it's, what everyone's situation is different. Man. This is the That's thing that I would argue in domestic, <clears throat> you can get away with robbing people because they don't know what they, that what you're doing for them. In I don't commercial, think it's robbing though. You can hide for longer if you're not, if you're not very good. I'm referring to mm. in commercial, you can hide for longer if you're not very good. People get caught at the end. It means it depends who you are as well. Some people just want to. How complicated is this conversation? Five. Well, yeah, because it is complicated. It's yeah. but in, in my job, if you got to a site doing what I do, you get clocked, not knowing what you're doing within an hour. But in a on a domestic on an on a commercial site, you'd still be getting inducted and carrying around mm. bits of tray. You wouldn't get spotted until you put some actual work in. So it's it's. <laughs> I like to see people assess people individually and pay people on the individual and, and, work. And times are changing. Like the firm that I used to work for, the firm I'm going back to, you you can be on the cards there on a, on a rate based on qualifications, and they have certain they have certain things that will you know get you a certain rate. Some of them are just your timekeeping, you know who you are, if you're keen, and if you want more responsibility. Then there's qualifications as whether you've got your own van or whatever, and you could be on the cards there, zero hours contract. You can negotiate, you know, a decent rate. Um, it sounds decent. To there's, me. It sounds- there's, there's there's lads on price, so they've got their own limited company. They go, I'll do that job for you for this amount of money. What's the time frame? Obviously, all materials free issue, um, and and they're doing jobs on price through the company. And then you've got me there on a negotiated day rate, depending on what I'm doing. You know what I mean? If I'm doing emergency lighting tests and I'm going to be home by one o'clock, then do you know what I mean? Or if I'm if I'm doing a mains room or night work or whatever, I could be on three hundred pound a day if I'm traveling. You said you're going back, though, didn't you? So, you just said I'm yeah. going back. And there's a reason you're going back. It's because they are dealing with you in a fair and honest manner. Yeah. And Whereas you, all the companies are got to uh, prove your worth. If you if you blag it, they won't have it. Do you know what I mean? But and, and, and that's the problem exactly as well. A lot of people be. want rock star money, though. Yeah, they don't they, want to be a rock star, and that's the watch. same. Some people just want a nine to five. Some people want to get home at, at four o'clock, turn their phone off, and that's completely. I get that. I wish I was more like that. But some people are keen, career driven. They will answer the phone at nine o'clock at night. They'll do the call outs. And so they're different people. And you can't. Some sports want champagne money and they've got lemonade <laughs> hands. 
Yeah. <laughs> and and um, do you know what? That's a really tough. interesting point that you say. It's it's ha- like I've learned since I so I moved to Kent, which and I mean the deepest, darkest parts of Kent. And <laughs> so there's no there's no agencies down here really. But agencies and are terrible, man. I couldn't is it, like honestly oh, agencies. Like, if you're looking to get into the trade, yeah, and if you've got to do it, go for an agency. But if you, you, we can't be talking about getting into, should you become an electrician, what it's worth and all that, and have agencies in the same. I've never yeah. worked for them, and I never but will. And I, like, I, I will agree with you to a certain extent. Now, I I agree that agencies really drag the um, the worth of an electrician through the floor because they're taking their cut. Not just that, man. They ruin jobs, mate. I've yeah, I've, I've been I've 21 years clubs. old, yeah, not even ready to run the job I'm running, but for some reason I am, and I'm getting sent free agency guys a day and going nah, nah, nah. And they're getting to, they're turning up with a bag full of tools in a Tesco's carrier bag, and that they like, bought from not, loadout dot shop. Yeah, not no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> in a loadout bag. Um, and, You're and, in. They, Come and on. they ain't got a clue, but they know that they'll just job hop because they get paid the day rate. Ah. They get paid their day and then they either last a week, a month, but as soon as they get told to do one, they know that they'll just get sent somewhere else. So we at least get a day's money because you see them for a day, you go, oh, you're shit, see you later. And then they get sent, but you still got to pay them for that day, ain't you? And so I'll... I agree with you 100% about that. It's terrible. But it is a route into the industry and it's a big part of the industry, certainly but in London. All the decent sparks from agencies they end up going direct anyway. Exactly. <laughs> and the problem is now is they've made it hard to go direct because IR35's come on and I used to work for direct companies loads of, a big company we used to work for or not name. Uh, me and my apprentice worked for them and I left and he sort of took over my role. And then they said, oh, we, we're scared about IR35, you've got to come and work for us. It's like, well, you're not going to pay me PAY what I'm earning. And they sort, I'm not going to his personal arrangement they've got going off there now, but... Um, is that they when just you got work scared. for them for a certain amount of time, they have to... Yeah, Yeah. so basically, I had... That still don't get enforced now, though. Yeah, but some companies got scared by it because yeah. they never really walk off to someone. So I've like... They said to me, oh, you've got to be employed. I was like, no, I've got I've got my own transport, my own IT. I do all my own paperwork, I've got my own software. I've got premises and my own accounts. What mm. makes things employed? You just tell me what to do and I'll turn up and do it. But a lot of big firms did get terrified by it. I've heard yeah. some horror stories of people with solid levels of work and if anyone's got these, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear this shit. It's solid levels work in the country. Going, oh no, you've got to work for us. <laughs> oh god, what are yeah. you gonna, uh, the last couple? What of I'm for? saying is though, with the agency stuff in London, a lot of the jobs for the longest time would only employ through agencies because they gave preferable terms. So yeah, and there's there's firms like Gratz Brothers, right, which everyone thinks is this amazing electrical or M and E firm, right, and it's basically an agency. Yeah. No one actually yeah. works for them. They're, no. they're, they've got about ten employees, and then thousands of you know Sparkies, but they're all just. Do you know what I mean? That's them as well, isn't it? Um, but Imtech, Gratz Brothers P- is like, do you T- know what I mean? This this oh, massive firm, yeah. and, you know, but they're not. And this, and this is what I'm saying. These companies will only take on for, via an agency. They get they get mm. an agency, and they will only take on. So when I moved to Kent, I was so my my preferred method of work had to change. So I took up finding my own work. So I'd phone every. I've got I've done a video on it. Um, yeah, I've seen that. Good advice that. So it's just a spreadsheet. You go through. You find. 20 30 companies in your local area within yeah. 40 miles you go through and you start making contact with them and you build up your database as to what they've got coming up who you need to talk to and you just get on their radar and you build up a picture of your local area what's going off where who's going off where and can you get on that job and so that's get- what i've been doing and get and, chatting to other subbies. Does that work for you as well? Chat to other subbies. They yeah. go to job, drag you along. Yeah, so Networking's got, massive. So it's... I've got a um, a group just for Kent, just for this part of Kent, um, a WhatsApp group. I created it and people I meet on site, I add to it. So when they get on a job, they then post onto, onto the WhatsApp group. I'm on this job. They're looking for five sparks to start next week, blah, blah, blah. And I built up a network. So I've got my own group. I've got my spreadsheet with all the uh, the influential local companies because there's not many, um, 
and I'm on first name terms with most of these local companies and I understand what they're doing, where they're doing it and how they're doing it. So it gives me the edge when I'm going into, into a conversation with these people. Now, what I'm saying is that's a, that is the way you should be getting work as a if more self-employed people were like electrician. you though, Sam. If more people were like you and did that, that's a community thing. You're describing a community thing, <laughs> a community helping itself, which you keep banging on about because we've got a fucking hippie. But if more people like you did that, the agencies would go bankrupt because we'd all be looking after each other. The shit sparks won't get any work and we could chuck them all in a hole. Uh, but saying shit sparks as well, that's the thing with anything nowadays, especially more now than ever. And whatever you do, whether it's a trade or a skill, a profession, anything, it is so competitive now. So you have got to market yourself. You've got to turn up with, you know, a decent set of tools. You've got to be passionate. Yeah. You've got to, you know, this justify your day rate. Do you know what I mean? It's competitive because it's it's everyone needs to work. But and if we let them, do, if we let them blagging good rates, and then there's good people holding all the good work, so you've got to be better than them. Is there anyone in your groups on that's a bell end? Do you reckon, or do you not allow it? Do you not allow bad reputation sparks in your group, or is it a free for all? Um, I don't know everyone in my group. Right, so people... not, it could be. It's not like it's not managed. You don't go, oh well, he keeps. Jacking on jobs, we don't want him in here. Do you know what? No, what it is, um, it's it's like a self fulfilling prophecy. So I will add someone I meet at work, and they might add five people they meet. Right. So there's no control. It's just a, right. Okay. Yeah. I'm no. If we look, because it, what it is, it's more about it's more about finding out what's going on where. Right. And then, for me, that's what it's about. For a lot of people, here's one of the things that you get a lot. You'll post a job on there and someone will ask you what the rate is, what the hours are. And you're like, phone up and find out yourself. <laughs> yeah. But a lot I'm of people your don't do that. Yeah, but if you were that hungry for work, I don't even, I wouldn't even bat an eyelid. When I when I was, I was self-employed throughout my whole apprenticeship. I worked for three different firms. Same. And every time I got sacked, I went and worked for someone else. And it right. was, when can I start? What time do you want me at your house in the morning? Not what are the rates? <laughs> Obviously that stuff got yeah, discussed. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and I wouldn't be mugged off. I would at times, but you learn. And, and do you know what I mean? Yeah. A bit wet behind the ears at, at 17, but you, you, you get better. But that's, again, that shouldn't be, it should be, you should be hungry. I need the work. Let's go see what it's saying. Let's do a week there. If it's shit. But that, then, then, there's you know a I mean? difference though. And, but, and you know this. If you didn't have loadout, you have a certain nut that you've got to, that you've got to cover every month. Yeah, I like, still do have loadout, mate. Loadout's not amazing. I pay I pay myself eight hundred pound a month out of it, mate. Like it's like, not. Do but, you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, we all have a nut that we got to cover. And yeah. When we're seventeen, we think that nuts a lot. But we have yeah. no idea when we've yeah, got a yeah. family what the nut really is. I've got people in this house bleeding me fucking dry. Yes. <laughs> yes. My nut is so big right now Stop that I'm sneezing. like I like sometimes I think I don't I really don't know how I'm gonna do this this month. Like honestly, these so these people though, a lot of these people in these groups are the worst types. And I'm not saying that in the in the in a horrible way. I know way. what you mean. I know what you mean. Like I'll put on a job and it'll be, I don't know, working in Margate, um, eight till four, 25 pound an hour, blah, blah. Shit. I ain't doing it. I, I, I'm oh, oh, I'm not fucking working but, for that. That's, oh. that's cool. I get asked to shared work, share work on residual all the time. I try not to do it too much, but it, I like to think it might help someone. And <laughs> sometimes they'll put the rates and the hours on there and I'll put it up, sharing someone else's thing and some of the, why are you promoting that? That's shit. And it's like, well, it might be to you, mate, but... It's not, someone yeah, might I really that. need that. I'll read someone that might one. just Don't... want the experience. Sometimes it's not about the money. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they might be oh. dead keen. They might be really good. Yeah. Trying to get learned, yeah. Or it I'll might be in an area an they've exact... got no experience in. So you're like, well, I'll take the pay cut because I want to learn how to do fire I've, alarm. I've learned, wanna... loads of, I've learned loads like that, mate. I've here's here's, for here's an exact readout of what, of what goes on in the group and it give you an idea. So there's an agency in here, in the group. Um, I put him in. If if any mates are looking for a job uh, in King's Cross, 10 weeks left on it, containment, conduit and lighting. They'll be working with an electrician. I'm also looking for one more spark. Mates, £20.50 an hour. The fuck? That's good money. That. Sparks, £29.50 an hour. They're, they're all right, right? Right. 
It Mate. was, I in London. Yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. We, and then I've got a guy going, what's the hours? Because there's no hours on the ad, in the initial ad. Um, ne never say never, mate. Need to know the hours first. It's an hourly rate, think... isn't it? Well, it's got to be 37 and a half for a start, you fucking penis. <laughs> like, fucking phone the guy. Well, yeah, but they ain't gonna, you ain't going to do a... Do you know what I mean? You ain't going to get no, paid no, 10 hours for a... doing a seven-hour day, are you? Like, yeah, but he's <laughs> a 29 thing. pound an hour. Like, you'll be expected to put a shift in and, do you know what I mean? Eight hours one hour a day, mate, for two days. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's no good for me. No, no, but what pounds. you're not realising is... They yeah. want you to tell them the hours. So instead what of being like, do. that's twenty, that's nearly 30 quid an hour. Fuck that. What's the geezer's number? Right. Yeah. And, that, and that's just a WhatsApp group. You're not getting any commission. Do you know what I mean? Or, no, no. Like... But what I'm saying is they should be phoning that number yeah. immediately and going. But the problem yeah, is, mate, mate, someone else already did that. Someone yeah. So the time they've off. asked, someone's been there and got a job. Who's that rang up with a good phone game, manner? Mate. It's, it's mad. And what I'm saying is, and this is the point of this podcast, what is the point of being an electrician anymore? Are we back to that? Or is that a tangent again? But <laughs> well, what is the point of being an electrician? Because I love it. I fucking love it. I yeah. fucking love being a sparker. I love it. I, Listen, fucking, I love oh, being a sparker. No, good money. It's the, it's the way the world's going. Is it you good money, though? Sort of work. Is it good money? It's is subjective, it money? isn't it? Is if, you go out there, if you're good, subjective, isn't it? If you're good, you'll find know. good work. Yeah, I've been through some shit places. I've worked for some right dicks. And we spoke about Intact earlier. Big shout out to Intact. You're all a bunch of fucking pricks. Yeah, they are. I worked there. They <laughs> fucking graffiti the fucking day done. The 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 people was at last Bellends. The people was at last Bellends. The guys worked for now are great. But I've had to go through all that process. I've been sat here on this computer on all five job sites, like thinking where the fuck's the money coming from. But in the end, I fell in. And that's because I kept at it, kept moving forward. It's what kept you make on. it, man. You Just can't say, yeah. what's no the one's point gonna in doing it? No one's going to knock you off for £35. I've got a £35 job. It's only Ben and Tube. You've got to go out and find that shit because they know the job they... If someone wants to pay above the going rate and they're a good employer, they don't go looking. They let people come to them. And like, I don't need to, yeah, because I'll just go work for this firm where it's great, but... If I didn't, if that firm disappeared tomorrow and I and loadout failed tomorrow, I'd be on it, mate. I'd be sharing my Instagram page. I'd be messaging all the companies on Insta. Look at my work. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. See, Even if I didn't work, have the YouTube gosh. videos, do you know what I mean? And all that, I'd be going, oh, look at this, look at that. And you'd get told to fuck off. You'd get offered shit money and that you'd make it work. Do you know what I mean? I'll tell you what, I'd go to work for £18 <clears> an hour for a week just to keep the money coming in so I yeah. could afford to sit here and keep looking for and, a better and, job. And also, what is, what is good money? Because... What's good money to Anthony Joshua? Do you know what I mean? What's good money to you? Is he a What's... spark? <laughs> Poor arsehole. But, but listen, but... we've got to talk about this quickly. What an effort he put in. Yeah, yeah. Come up he, short. Yeah. Um, I'll engage my pretending to know what the fuck's going off face. Uh, boxing. Oh, um, yeah. I, did I didn't even watch it. I just read it. But No, I yeah. watched it. I'm a massive, I'm big into boxing at the moment. Good effort from him. Acted like a bit of a dick when it when it didn't go his way. I see but, all that, yeah. That's what I see, and I, I read like the. Thing yeah, but do you know what? Through. It's like being a spark. Let's ring it round. He put he's all into that. He went out on his shield. He trained for it. He thought he was going to win. He thought he had everything going for him. He went out on his shield. It did, and he come up short. The same as we go in, and we do everything we can, and sometimes we get fucking knocked. They get up, keep going, don't you? Fight again, yeah, as long he... as you dust yourself off, mate. I feel like we've come to a natural end of this podcast. <laughs> I hope so. I'm dying for a piss. <laughs> and, and I don't think, and, and do you know what? I don't think we've come out of an uh, with a definitive answer. There isn't but... one, is there? No, there isn't. Can we agree on that? I think that's where yeah. we should, yeah, agree on it. All this, we can agree there's no rate. Everyone's individual. And like I say, you've got, I think you could really strong point there about people like, What's the rate? What's this? Just get down there. Get you better, better earning something than fucking nothing, aren't you? And you, you I don't agree with that. That's early bird catches the worm. Said. You might get there though and meet someone on eighteen quid an hour who gets your thirty-five pound an hour job, and that's happened to me. Yeah. Do you know what happens at, at, at that firm that I'm going to? What happened to me? You work there for a bit. You get told that you're getting a pay rise within a month. Because you haven't come in asking about money and all that. You come in, they've gone, he's decent. Here, mate, do you want this? Do you know what I mean? And then they want to keep you. They not, want to keep not you. The other way they around, value yeah. you. And I think a lot of it as well is working for the wrong people. And it's very easy for Massive. me to say that by working for an amazing company. Um, 
in in some respects they still want to get their eyes at you they'll still make you do every hour under the sun and ring you all night and all that and if you don't want that that'll do your head in how big um, are the mic out of interest what kind of size uh, firm are they about 20 to 20 it fluctuates but about 20 to 25 they sit so out. it's a personal level i think is an important thing like yeah you're dealing with personal it's like as i just slagged him take off you're just a number there there's like yeah, thousands yeah. of them and your clarks and your other big firms that i can't yeah. remember now but i've yeah. done him text i done him tech back. You did him good, didn't you? And I heard this. I was working for him tech when I heard the stories about you. Did you? <laughs> yeah. There's like some fucking cunt on that stadium. That's you. Oh, I said the C word. Sorry. <laughs> I done him tech bad. <laughs> you did. I, I done him for 70 grand. You, if you'd have come on, you would have got. I know people and I don't like them. I just know them. What was that? They, Tottenham? they would have slayed you. Yeah, Tottenham. The ball uh, by the tech was on that. I, 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 I got. They were, they I got. Many sparks. There was fucking Sue Barker was down there. <laughs> I got eight, eight um electrician. Well, eight electricians who were doing fire alarms, paid out seventy grand. Was that the a de tussabis? Huh? Was that the a de tussabis? I don't want to say the name because the a de tussabis on the fire. They were subbies and they got knocked for seventy grand between eight of them, and I got them paid. And it was two months before Christmas. It's my crowning achievement. It's the best thing I've ever done in my life. And I'm so pleased for it. And it was Imtech. That job was a cluster though, wasn't it? Yes, massive. Yeah. Yeah, Ma- Mace job though, wasn't it? <laughs> We're going to get sued. <laughs> Monday Club. We're getting sued. Loadout.shop. We're out. <laughs> We're going to get sued.